Hello everyone, it's Carrie here today sharing a quick card with you using some products from Miss Ink Stamps. I recently got this stamp set here, which is the Wonderland Sentiments, and this one that says, it's impossible only if you believe it is. Why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. So I thought it would be really fun to make a card with that. And as you know, the Alice sets are some of my favorites. So I wanted to make another card using these sets. I'm using the Floral Wave Offset Stencil, also from Missing Stamps. And I've just chosen some of my favorite Distress Oxide colors. I'm going to be inking this up in kind of a radiating look. So I start with the yellow in the center, then I move on to the shabby shutters, and now I'm going to add some of the salvaged patina around the outside. And I will also bring in one other darker shade of blue for the very, very edge. And I'm using the Salty Ocean today for the very outside, but you can use any of your favorite colors to do this. But try the radiating uh, inking technique here with this stencil, it's really beautiful. I'll just finish up inking all around there, and now I'm going to show you how this turned out. Look at that. So pretty. I love these colors for this background. And to kick it up a notch, I'm going to use one other stencil. This is the Sparkle Stencil, also from Miss Ink, and it just adds a little bit of magic to your card. I'm going to be using some Nouveau paste here. This is called, uh, I'll have it linked below, but it's the one of the newer colors. As you can see, I've never used it, at least not yet, but we're gonna use it today and it's a really beautiful yellow. So it's going to add just a little bit of a subtle shimmer to the background. So I'm gonna tape on that stencil and just hold it there with my left hand as I spread this on with my spatula here and it doesn't take very much of this at all. These are just small little sparkles, so just a little bit of paste goes a really long way. Now here's the reveal. I'll show you real quick, but I'm going to add one more thing while this is still wet. First, I will clean off my surface here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter. This is the Rock Candy Glitter, and just adding just that much gives it more of a magical look. So now I'll set that aside to dry. And as I do that, I'm just gonna color up my images. Now I have chosen an Alice image from the Alice stamp set. I have a unicorn here from the lovely unicorn set and five other impossible things so that I have a total of six impossible things that she's thinking about before breakfast. I'm gonna color up the unicorn a little bit differently just using a couple of shades of violet, and then the unicorn is gonna be a light blue. I'm coloring these all a little bit strange, so they seem a, a little more impossible, right? Like, see that chicken there? I added some polka dots to the chicken and colored up kind of coral colored, and I colored the, the Cheshire Cat also the same colors. I didn't leave all the coloring in because I know you've seen me color many, many times, but just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of the colors that I chose for this. To put it all together, I will glue down the images in the back. So the unicorn and the chicken and the a mushroom, just using liquid adhesive. And for the images in the front, I'm popping those up with a little bit of foam tape so that we have a little dimension also to this card. And that's something I really like to do. And there we go. I'm just gonna make sure that these sentiments are straight. I did use my T-square ruler and I'm gonna check that out again, just to be sure. With this stencil in the background, it really does play with your eyes a little bit and makes everything look a little wonky. I'll glue that to the card base, which is 110 pound cardstock. So it's nice and sturdy. And then that is our card. Here's a little close up. I hope you can see that glitter in the background with the Nouveau paste. Just real subtle in the background, but look at all her imaginations. <laughs> it's really, really fun. There, there's the T-square ruler once again, just to double check and make sure they're straight. 
it's been confirmed. So there's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed this look at putting together some impossible things on a card. I really had fun creating this. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help with YouTube and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss a thing. I'll be back real soon with more card making inspiration. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.